Hello, my name is Nick Hill. Today we're reviewing one of Ralph Ellison's novels that won the National Book of Work Fiction in 1953 and is among the top 100 English-led novels of the 20th century, The Invisible Man. The Invisible Man is about a no-name African-American protagonist who's trying to get an education in the South, but when that fails, he moves to Harlem to try to get a job, but after many failed attempts and a few injuries, he is lost in the world until a man finds him and tells him about an organization called the Brotherhood who helps the Harlem community with black and white problems and offers him the job as a public speaker. He takes the job but has one catch that he must forget about his old life and adopt a new one, which he does. He has great success as a public speaker. But after being charged for something, he has to leave Harlem. And when he left, the whole community and the Brotherhood went into shambles. And when he came back, he tried to rebuild it. but. Only one man can do so much, so he gets so fed up with it that he just helps destroy the community and his brotherhood. Thus, getting rid of his new persona and starting off a blank slate, and thus becoming the Invisible Man. What I like about this book, it shows realistic incidents of African American men and the jobs they have to do and the struggles to try and get a job, to try and get an education from um, the protagonist working in a paint factory and how that failed, how he was rejected so many times from all these big, um, I would say businesses, but I really don't know because it doesn't directly state that. Uh, what I don't like, it's uh, somewhat more deeper than I'm used to looking into novels. But other than that, I enjoyed this novel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this view, and I give the novel a B plus.